What's up, YouTube world? We want to talk to you guys today about going out and playing sports, uh, shutting everything down sometimes in your business and just go think and play sports. I was talking, or I should say, I was listening to a, a different guy I normally don't listen to. He's been on uh, Joe Rogan show, all these uh, television shows. He's been with Al Gore. He's been uh, uh, different parts of the world. He's played sports. He's owned What else has he done? He's uh, led corporations, earned tens of billions of dollars. His net wealth is in, if I remember correctly, over 30 billion. Dan Pena, that's how you say it. It's a D-A-N-P-E-N-A. -E he says, um, when you listen or read books and all that, you're just procrastinating. I understand the point, but sometimes you need to, you got to sit down and read. And um, doing things is one thing. Going there and correcting is another thing. Having uh, self-study plans, or excuse me, um, like let's say uh, they need to do an EPA study. That's kind of a waste of time, but... You know, that's just a bureaucracy of the whole entire situation. But sometimes there's studies, uh, like uh, the mineral study, the, you know, what's going on with the leakage, drainage, things like that, um, are important to know. Other uh, groups can go and use them. Uh, it's available to the public at a whole, usually. Um, they're very well done. But I guess without going on to a tangent, sometimes these really wealthy people are very smart. They know what to do, right? But sometimes, um, I know his point. I understand his point. I'm just not going to drop everything and, uh, and run with it quite yet, you know? Um... I know there's a lot to the idea of being successful, closing more sales. His closing ratio, I guess, in his real estate uh, career was like 94%, which which is really good. Um, he's always been a successful person. But my point to this is sometimes even the wealthy people that you listen to have a lot of good points, but right now you're in your education life. You're in the part of your life where you're seeking education, you're seeking knowledge, you're seeking the know-how to be better at all the situation, you know? You're not there to, uh, to be something you're not, you know? You're there to um, you're, you're there to be yourself. You're there to be where people aren't um, you're there to educate yourself. You're there to be that one person that makes a difference in your life. You're there to learn all the knowledge you need to be a better person. And being a better person to your to your community, your friends, your family, to making a, a difference in your life and other people's lives. But you gotta sometimes sit down and, and read read the Bible, go listen to someone speak, you know. I don't think it's procrastination. Sometimes people are, are creative, and they're creatively different. Um, yeah, you, when you have time, like you put in a day's work, and, and being creative is part of that process, 
or reading the book is part of that process, that's what you go do. Everybody has a different way of doing things. I would love to sit here and create hundreds of billions there are even trillions of dollars of wealth where other people benefit and I get 1% of it all, you know? You know, like, if I could get 1% of a trillion dollars, you know, I'm a billionaire. If I could get 2% of 2 trillion, you know, I'd be worth a lot of money. See, you got to think like that. You can't let people... You can't let people dash your hopes you got to be realistic about your own goals and where you're at in life some people have good intentions like Dan has good intentions in telling you how to run your life he's telling you how to be wealthy he's telling you to how to be rich what do billionaires do well billionaires do this well why aren't you doing that why aren't you getting your act together and making a difference in your life why have your uh, successes sputtered you know why has it, it's just certain things that you got to think about uh, know how to run it, it's just we got to do see people don't know what you know until until you have something to, to sell them sometimes you know they're not gonna listen to you, you until you show them that you have stuff that they need and they can benefit benefit from sometimes oh fuck this I can't go down this way so Let's see what happens. I'm going to go play basketball. I'm going to think about stuff. I'm going to listen to YouTube, iTunes, or whatever I'm going to listen to. I'm going to think of ideas to do another, uh, I wouldn't call it a podcast, it's something. So... If you like this video give the big thumbs up like and subscribe as I'm checking out the neighborhoods there's a lot of places that need their yards mode